All right, so here we go. Look at Nugs getting it up in less than 24 hours, you know? And unfortunately, though, we just get the goose set. The tray set is apparently over on Live Fish, which was, I guess, to be expected. Some people were maybe saying, yeah, it'll probably be a while. Don't expect them to show up the next day. I'm kind of new to Nugs. I'm just doing the Billy Free For All. So I listened to the goose set just now here in my first half of work, and uh, I guess my feelings are probably about the same. I think I commented before when I listened to a goose show. Like for me, I can't just like pick out a video on YouTube and watch it and kind of get into it. I sort of need the show to flow. Um, listen to a couple songs in a row, get 30 minutes into it, and then you start to realize, wow, this is actually really good. I like this. The first song, uh, Turbulence and the uh, the Night Rays, I believe is the title, kind of got a very Divided Sky vibe from that. And then before, now I realize I saw after going and looking for some video on YouTube, I see that um, when some goose fellas joined Trey's band, they played Wolfman's Brother, but I thought I kept hearing Wolfman's Brother, even with Trey or without Trey. I think All I Need was a song where uh, Trey was not included. I felt like I heard Wolfman's Brother. The set closer, Pancakes, I uh, felt like Trey was involved there. I just kept feeling like I was hearing Wolfman's brother. So perhaps a little foreshadowing there from the goose, the guys and goose. And uh, so I think all I need was probably the home run. I did like the first song with the Divided Sky vibes. Um, then maybe Tumble, Tumblr, something like that. You know, I'm not great on the titles yet. Just kind of glanced at the set list, played it, took another look at it. I was able to walk over. All I need, it went 20 minutes plus. So there were several points in that. And I was like, yeah, this is really good. It has the same, like, uh, I'm the same way with the Disco Biscuits. I like the Disco Biscuits, but I can't just sit there and listen to a song. I have to, like, set aside at least an hour or so, listen to an entire set or a good chunk of a show. Then I kind of get into it, you know? You got to have a feel for it. Um, or at least I do, anyhow. I'm sure Super Goose fans are like, whatever, dude. And then I could see a goose just jams going well because uh, I'm not a big fan of the vocals. I have no idea what they're singing about. I'm not paying attention to the lyrics. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed. And from what I, I know, I got one of the tab shows from the Chicago Theater and I was not really impressed. But I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to sound like a dick and just like shit on tab or whatever because I like Trey and Fish so much, but tab just is for not for me and somebody like i was talking i was like yeah these guys are like 50 years old somebody was like dude zero's like 72 and then you know the milkman who i love he's a fucking cancer survivor i believe one of the ladies like you know is recovering or has recovered from something a serious problem she had uh you know trey's not getting any younger so it is it's kind of a uh, trey and company <laughs> a little bit of that now they can get rocking like when uh, the down the this the webcast I got, I believe they uh, they started pounding and out a little bit and got a jabu, and it was just night one. But man, just after and I've been listening to a lot of Billy and Kitchen Dwellers, a lot of Marvin, a lot of shred going on, a lot of shredding going on. Does anybody in Goose use a capo? I sure hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, boom, guys, we're out of here. I still think Sunday I'll probably try and get the webcast. I think there's a show Sunday. I hope there is anyhow. And uh, boom, we'll see you then. Hopefully the, uh, I just want Trey's band. Although when this thing was announced, I was like, I think this is kind of a goose tour and Trey's band is sort of like, you know, the opening act is probably not the right term since they're kind of co-headlining, I suppose. Goose opened up last night. Maybe they'll do that every show, but I do feel like, um, it's not even like they're trying to show up Trey's band or anything. I just think at this point in their careers, I think uh, Goose is a better band than Trey Anastasio band right now. At least for me, what I'm listening to. I don't love Goose. I wouldn't put Goose in my top five, but I probably wouldn't put Tab in my top ten. Don't feel great about saying that. I'm getting kind of old myself. I'm not far from being a boomer. My facial hair mostly comes in gray, but... Trey and company. A little too chill for me, man. I mean, you got cancer survivors in the band. You can't expect them to shred, dude. I love the milkman. Ray. Boom. Polish power.